Good morning. This is Artie, the Vintage Stitcher, and I'm so happy that you're here with me this morning. Today is Monday, December 12th. Um, yeah, day 14 of Flossmas for me in my world. 14th? Yes, 14. Try not to lose count. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a weekend in review. I haven't seen you since Saturday, so let's go over what I did over the weekend. It was a very nice weekend. I was able to get some sewing done on Saturday. And what happened Saturday? Saturday, I pretty much stayed home all day. Did some sewing in my sewing room, watched some movies, did some stitching in the evening. It was a perfect day. I'm going to show you what the quilt I've been working on, or part of the quilt I've been working on. She's gonna. I Yesterday, I did some FFOing. So I got some small ornaments done and just some quick finishes, super, super fast finishes. Let's see, we have Christmas cards to open today. I got a little stitching done last night. We'll go over trivia, go over the bonus winners from Saturday, all sorts of stuff. So I'm so happy you're here. Um, yesterday, my parents came for a visit. I was able to clean house and just kind of do all sorts of things. We had to go drop my husband's truck off at the tire place because he's getting new tires for Christmas. <laughs> What else do you get them? What else do you get a guy with uh, a handful of trucks? <laughs> tires are always it. So I just got tires. <sighs> yeah, it was a nice day. Had a nice dinner. Just kind of relaxed, recouped, ready for the week. And this week is going to be another busy week. We have lots of doctor's appointments today. I work at the office tomorrow and Wednesday. Doctor's appointments on Thursday. And then a chill for Friday and the weekend again. So... It is what it is. Everybody's life is busy this time of the year. I try not to whine about it. Um, it just is what it is. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open Christmas cards first. <laughs> These came in Saturday's mail, and I'm pretty excited to open them. Let's open Christmas cards first. All right. <gasps> Look at how sweet that is. Very cute. Thank you. Not necessary, but thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. I've been enjoying your videos since day one. You are so sweet. I love everything you do and give me lots of inspiration. You mentioned a prior prayer schooler you wanted on a recent video. I'm sending you some money to purchase it for yourself. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Sandy. Sandy, thank you so much. Make sure I remember to have a hard time reading. Sandy, yes. <gasps> thank you very, very much. Like I said, money is not necessary. Um, greatly appreciated though. Thank you. I love that. Look at how cute that Christmas card is. I love, I love the homemade Christmas cards. Beautiful. All right, one more. All right. I'm not a good envelope opener. I, I really need a. I should. We used to have one. I got rid of it. A letter opener. Oh, look at the cute picture on this one. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wishing you all. Wishing you a Christmas filled with joy and of togetherness and love and friends and family and happy memories that linger long after the se season is gone. Merry Christmas and a blessed and happy and healthy 2023. Love watching your YouTube videos. Joan. Make sure I got that right. Joan. Very pretty. I love Christmas cards. So I do decorate with them over on my shelf. And I have a garland that I've been taping them to. So when you're over, um, when I'm over there filming, make sure you take a look at all my Christmas cards. Because look how cute that is. So nostalgic. I love Christmas. I just love Christmas. I love getting mail <laughs> this time of the year. It's always pleasant. <laughs> okay. What did I stitch on? Last night, I worked on my Christmas gingerbread village. Um, I have the sulky bright white floss coming, so I kind of want to get this row done so that when it gets here, I can, um, I can work on the white. So this is, let me fix my needle. I didn't get too, too far. I only had about maybe an hour and a half of stitching time 
last night after everything was said and done. This is where I'm at on my gingerbread. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut it really, really close on my fabric, like always. I think I cut my fabric maybe an inch. It's going to fit. It's just going to be finishing it is going to be a little tougher. It, it will fit. Um, but finishing is going to be a, a little bit of a struggle. But that's all right. I'm already this far in. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stop now. So the other thing <clears throat> I was thinking of doing was um, on here, of changing the horse color to a tan instead of a white. I'm thinking I might change that because this blue, the, the white of the snow and the white of the houses and stuff is going to look just fine. It's going to look just fine. But I don't think that these little white horses are going to show up very much. So I'm thinking about changing the white of the horses. And then the little snowman up here, I might change that to blue. I'll worry about that when I get to that. But I'm thinking I'm going to change these to like a, a, tan, a light tan color on my horses. Just so that they show up a little bit better on my blue fabric. So let me know what kind of changes you're making to yours. I would love to know. Love, love, love to know. I'm doing mine on 16 count Icelandic blue Ada. Called for DMC two strands over one. Um, yeah, I wanted it nice and dense and vibrant and it's working out really nicely. I'm really loving the 16 count. I, yeah, on big projects, you know me. I'm an Ada girl. Okay, what did I FFO? I had a whole stack of stuff that I needed to FFO. Saturday, <clears throat> I sat down to stitch and I've been working on, you know, like the least amount of stitches and up. So I was working on those cute little wooden ornaments. I had like six of them left, seven of them left to do. I've got a few left, but I worked on those and I thought, okay, I'm going to get those knocked out of the park and get those kind of done. Well, then when they're finished and you have to cover the back with, it was like a generic white felt. I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't like that. So I finished mine a little bit differently. So I finished mine with a trim and a bow. And then on the back, I took my wool, pieces of cute pieces of wool, and I cut it. Well, in fact, I cut this and I glued it on first. And then I realized it's not perfect. It's not a very good circle because I don't cut very good circles. And in most of the time, it doesn't matter. But in this case, it really did. It showed like the edge of the wood and how it was not painted. So I attached the um, trim. I thought, oh, I'll just put trim around them. And that's what I did. So I've added trim, some cute buttons, little bow. And there you go. Look at how adorbs that is. I love them. I did four of them. Um, and then my thumb wore out from... It's hard work stitching on wood. <laughs> but they turned out so cute. I'm so pleased with them. So I've got this one. I've got this one. Look at how cute. I love it. I changed my floss colors too. I changed my floss colors. And each of them is a little bit different. That one. Look at this one. I love this one. This one has got like the sweater trim on it. So it's a little bit more uh, primitive feeling. Look at this one. And this is the back. It's the back. Oh, yeah, this one, the back isn't very good. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. That one. And then this was my first one that I practiced, practiced on with the trim. So it's not perfect, but it's good enough for my tree. Look how cute that is. And then I have the little parks. I got to put a button there, cover that little jiggity jaggedy up. That's what buttons were made for, right? Not holding your shirts together, but covering up jiggity jigs. So this is what I did with my little wooden ornaments. And now I'm super excited to get the rest of them done. I think I've got two more painted ones and one more just regular wood color one. Um, so I'm, now I'm really excited to kind of get them done because I think they turned out really, really cute. I love them. This is my, this is my favorite. This is my colors. It's my favorite. This one might stay out all winter on. I'm thinking about leaving my um, tree up and having a winter tree this year taking it down in spring just because I love it. I love the lights. Okay. <clears throat> so then 
I had all sorts of little ornaments. Remember that I finished up and I had to FF on. One of them was that little tiny snowman, that cookie cutter um, ornament that I just felt I totally messed up and I didn't really like. But you don't just toss it. You don't just throw it in a bin. You finish it up. You enjoy it. This is what I did with it. This is a little tiny ornament. I bought these on Amazon this year, thinking that they were going to be bigger because I am spatially stunted when it comes to, to measuring, and I never get up and get a measuring table while I'm browsing Amazon. I should have one right on my nightside table or something when I'm shopping. Um, I ordered these cute little ornaments, and they come like this. I ordered the black and white check, and I thought, oh, I'm going to put all sorts of like little finishes on them. I thought they were bigger. They're not. They're little. <laughs> They're really little. That's okay. That's okay. Because in this case, it worked out perfect. I had this little tiny snowman. Um, I didn't have to paint. I didn't have to do anything. It just finishes. It's nice little finish on the back. Just pop a bow and a button on it, mount it. And I fell in love with it. My little wonky snowman is really, really cute. I like him. <laughs> So I think he turned out adorbs. All right. So these were like super cheap on Amazon. You can, um, they were like 10 bucks for a hundred or something like that. It was like, and that's probably why they're so small, but they're kind of neat. You can do all sorts of little craft things. I've got some ideas brewing up here, but like if you're going to do like, um, monogram stitching, these would be perfect if you stitched like, um, Judy Whitman has that monogram book, the French country alphabet that I love. It's my go-to monogram little pattern. You could stitch like um, somebody's first initial and mount it to this, add a bow, a string. You've got a nice little ornament or gift tag. You can write on the back. So you can do gift tags on the back. Cute little idea. All right. <clears throat> then two of the other ones, I just popped on some of my pre-made um, tags and boards that I had up for sale on my Facebook page. So I had a few left and I thought, okay, we're going to just wrap some of this stuff up. Look at my gnome, my little gnome. This was one, this was a dollar general gift tag. I chalk painted it. I covered the back with just, um, craft paper, craft paper on the back, Mod Podged it on, mounted a little piece of fabric on sticky board, my bow, and my jingle bell, and then you just mount your um, piece onto it. I got glue on everything. Mount your piece to it. And I pre-make this kind of stuff. Like when I'm doing my painting days, I'm painting everything. So everything that I, I know I'm gonna want painted, I paint all at one time and then get it done. And then when I'm doing my finishing, it's all ready to go. When inspiration strikes me, I am ready, ready to go. So this one is really, really cute. I love this. He is such a cute little gnome. It's so adorable. I just love it. Adorbs is my new word. <laughs> Can you tell? Um, love them. Super cute. And then I had the little ornament that I did from Lila Studio. And that one was a little bit bigger. So I had taken my boards. These are my Dollar Tree paddles. Same thing. Painted. And then I mounted fabric to them, thought I would, the fabric that I thought I would like, I mounted to it. And then I left them like that. So I was able to kind of customize my bow a little bit. And the bow in the fabric is this cute little tan plaid. Look at, you can see it right there. And look at that. I had a little tan plaid bow. So just some little bows, buttons, little greenery, and bam, it's done. Love it. Now you can either hang something. You can hang this if you wanted. You could put like a little sawtooth um, hanger on the back and hang it flat against the wall. Or you could lean it up on it to your shelf, on a shelf. Or you could put it, I get those plate stands from Dollar Tree all the time. Those are nice. They're Usually you can get the clear ones and you can get them in a couple different sizes. Those are nice for if you just want to stick this someplace in you know, have it kind of freestanding and then put greenery around it or whatever. The plate stands are great. Love them. Okay. The other thing I worked on is I'm working on a quilt. <clears throat> um, 
for a friend. Working on a quilt for a friend. And these are the blocks. They're a little fuzzy. I have to take the lint roller to them. These are the blocks that I need. With that. So, with this one. So I did the blocks with the Crown Royal bags. And then the easy, um, easy sawtooth star. Easy, easy, easy. The one where you don't lose your points, where you use a little bit bigger background fabric and you use the like two and a half or three inch squares and then they're made big and then you just trim them down to the size you want and you're guaranteed not to lose points. That's my kind, that's my kind of star. Um, so this, I worked on these and I got all the blocks done this weekend. I just need to set it into the top and do the layout, set it into the top. I haven't decided if I'm going to do sashing or if I'm going to do them all together. I got to play with it a little bit and then um, get the, the quilt top done. Okay. Um, I am going to have a big announcement this week. A big, big announcement. I kind of threw a teaser out a couple weeks ago on Facebook about a possible retreat up here in Upper Michigan. I'm going to have some announcements. I've been working on some details. I'm going to have some announcements. Um, so anybody's thinking about they'd like to take a trip to the upper peninsula of michigan in the spring <laughs> stay tuned all right let's do trivia let's do trivia so i even pulled out my 2023 planner today i have a bunch of like appointment cards for things coming up next year and i'm starting to plan for next year not heavy duty but I'm starting. This is my the, this is the planner I'm going to use um, next year. It's the uh, Be in My Bonnet Company. So it's the Lori Holt planner, and I like it. I really like it. It's got all sorts of pages for like personal goals, and then the calendar days, and it's got the calend the whole month, which is what I need. I need this um the other thing is it's like this six by nine or seven by nine size so it fits in your purse or tote bag um i loved the book of days last year it was hard to take it places this one is going to fit in in my purse in my tote bag um i can take it with me just about everywhere and spiral bound and it's hardcover so it's not going to get ruined um and that's what i need that's what i need i need to be able to take my calendar with me so that is at the Fat Quarter Shop. If anybody wants one, the link is in the description below. All right. You know the drill. If you're loving the content, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 8,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's like three weeks from now. I think we can do it. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit your notification bell. Leave me a comment. Um, answer trivia. Say, hey, tell me what you love about the channel, what you don't love about the channel. Um, and we'll do our best. Okay, the winner of Saturday's regular trivia is Val. Val, just V-A-L. That was her handle on, on um, YouTube, Val. All right, so my email is in the description below. Email me, let me know what your shipping um, address is, and I will get that off to you this week. Then we had the bonus question, and of course I walked away without the... Um, the pattern. The pattern is from um, Owl Stitching House. It was the Christmas carousel. And I asked a bonus question. Um, and it was about marsh warts. Marsh warts. I got I got here. And marsh warts are cranberries. Hmm. I had no idea. It was cranberry sauce was the answer. And the winner for that one is Paulette Harris. Paulette Harris. So, Paulette, let me know your shipping information. I will get that pattern out to you um, this week. Okay? Trivia for tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. What is the best-selling Christmas song ever? The best-selling Christmas song ever. Here comes Santa Claus, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, or Silent Night. It's a tough one because those are all pretty popular songs. Here comes Santa Claus, Jingle Bells, White Christmas, or Silent Night. Best-selling Christmas song. All right. Leave me the answer below. 
love to hear from you. I'm slowly catching up on comments. <laughs> you guys are just outnumbering me, which is great. I wouldn't want it any other way. And when you're out and about in the world today, please be kind, spread love, and find peace.